In tonight's health alert, high blood pressure is a serious issue for millions of Americans. And our own Carolyn Clifford joins us now with a closer look at what you need to know to stay safe. And Carolyn, this is a very serious health issue. Absolutely. For so many people, Alan, one in three Americans has high blood pressure, a silent killer if it goes untreated. Some patients have to take five medications without relief. Well, tonight, a groundbreaking study is underway at Ascension Providence to determine if a treatment they're researching will reduce the number of medications a person must take to keep this killer under control. Take a snapshot of any American family, and the picture is not pretty when it comes to high blood pressure. One in three Americans has it. I just went to see my doctor recently and he told me that my blood pressure was high. Hypertension is defined as blood pressure above 130 over 80 and is considered severe if the pressure is above 180 over 120. This man donated a kidney to a childhood friend who had it. In his 20s and 30s, he's like a lot of people, he didn't have insurance. He had high blood pressure, but he didn't know it. And then by the time he saw a doctor, it had already started to damage his kidneys. According to the American Heart Association, 103 million Americans have high blood pressure. Hypertension is a deadly, silent disease. It can cause strokes. It can cause heart failure. It can cause uh, blindness. It could cause kidney failure. It can cause many, many bad things to happen. Chief of Cardiology at Ascension Providence, Dr. Shukri David, is leading a groundbreaking study that could one day reduce the number of medications a person with high blood pressure has to take from five to maybe just one or two or possibly none. That is very interesting. I would love to get off blood pressure medication because, you know, the side effects. This month, Dr. David and his team did a blind clinical study with two patients, and neither one knows whether they got the treatment. They insert this catheter into the renal artery. These anchors pop up, and tiny needles that look like miniature fangs inject alcohol to kill off the nerves that lead to the kidney. It gets rid of the innervation around the kidney that sends signals to the brain to raise the blood pressure. This treatment has been studied in both South America and Europe, but this is the first time it's being researched here in the U.S. The preliminary results are very encouraging, and I think this offers hope to patients that don't want to take medications or have side effects from these medications. Certainly would be amazing if it works. Eating a healthier diet with less salt, exercising regularly, and taking medications can help lower blood pressure. But for those getting no relief, Dr. Davis says this could be the answer. We'll certainly wait and see. Glenda, Allen, incredible move there. Mm -hmm. All right, Carolyn, thank you.